All right, here's a hot topic. Water and chemicals, nuclear fallout. What the heck are you even gonna do to make your water safe? So this has been a big question lately, especially after the disaster with the train derailments and chemicals completely contaminating the local water, you know, local streams and things like that. It's not just bad for humans, it's bad for animals, it's bad for everybody, okay? Um, but that was a whole scenario and one of the things was, you know, what were you going to do about contaminated water? There's a few things, first of all, bottled water. A lot of people give me so much grief whenever I talk about store bottled water, but having bottled water stored for this specific scenario and so many others is going to make sure, guarantee that you have good drinking water, cooking water, cleaning water, all these things, right? Because when it comes to contamination of water, one of the things I know I'm concerned with is our well water. Now I did a little bit of research with well water and the radioactive particles could potentially reach well water. And this is a big concern of ours because we are 100% reliant on well water. A lot of people also have just open wells. Um, I know my grandma has like an open well and it's like, you know, there's pumps and things like that, but it's just like an open well and you can look down and see the water, you know? Ours is a closed enclosed well, but still, even so, radioactive materials could over time, like especially like erosion and stuff like that, could reach that well water. So it's critical to us to um, make sure that we have all filtration systems um, ready. You know, um, we have a whole house filtration system, but it's more for iron, not for chemicals or nuclear, you know, chemical things like that. You know, it's not for radioactive particles. Reverse osmosis and distillation are two of the top ways to get rid of chemicals and um, or nuclear fallout, okay? Those are really the safest ways. And again, having bottled water or stored water, even if it's water inside of tanks, buried tanks, or even outside tanks, outside tanks are generally going to be okay. Um, the radioactive particles are generally not going to seep into the tanks. They do sell radiological water testing kits. It is very expensive, um, but if it's something you're concerned about, you know, having the water tested could give you peace of mind, especially after a fallout, you know, and you you really would want to test on a regular basis, it's not just like, oh, test that one time right after the, you know, a week after and it'll be good. Um, there's a half-life of radio, uh, radiological particles, so you're going to want to be contesting this consistently. Um, you can always call out. There are lots of services in local places that have um, testing. They may not have the right equipment for radiological testing, or maybe they do. You kind of want to call around for that right now. Some people say that carbon filters will remove the radium. While that may be true, um, you're going to want to change out those carbon filters a lot because when it's taking all that contamination in, especially when we're talking about radiation or other specialized chemicals, um, you are going to want to change out those filters almost after every use. I mean, very, very frequently um, because of that buildup in it. So I honestly wouldn't rely on carbon filters, even though some people have suggested that, I would not make that as a, a viable option. Uh, for any sort of short or long term. So well water for us, you know, it's it's a big concern that it can be contaminated with uh, radiation. Um, now city water, they say, will be safe, you know, but city water is also taken from public sources, you know what I mean? So they do sometimes go through a, um, you know, purification process, a filtering process, that kind of thing. But what is their filtering and purification process? You may want to call your local city water and ask them about that. Like if they have anything um, that they had in place to filter any sort of chemicals or, you know, radiological things, things like that. Um, because you don't really know, you know, if they have anything in place for that. Just because some people say that, you know, tap water is going to be safe, really don't always rely on that. You want to make sure that you always have filtration and purification ready on hand. Um, outside of reverse osmosis and distillation, between the two, I would say distillation is your number one, um, you know, source. They have distillation that you sit on your uh, stovetop, and those are, are going to work really, really well. So distillation really, you know, you can make your own distillers, but I would really just buy like the hundred dollar ones that you're seeing here. They distill very fast, um, in large quantities. 
um, you know, I would buy a distiller like that and to distill water to make it clean from chemicals or a nuclear. But really having the water in place already is going to help you. So you have the bottled water, maybe you have stored water containers, maybe you have a buried tank, things like this, or even just like an outside tank. You have these tanks of water and things that you can pull from. Um, and you may also, you know, want to additionally purify the, the water that comes out of those tanks or whatever you feel safe doing. But the thing is, you know, you already have those safe drinking waters. You have the bottled water, you have the, uh, the, water in containers. You know, you have these safe sources of water already that you can go to while you are um, distilling water, you know, from other sources or from your well water, these kinds of things. Um, so another one is freezing water, freeze all the water. Uh, Seychell, I'm looking at Seychell here. Seychell also has their radiological um, purification systems. I actually have one of their bottles. I really like it, um, but they have like other systems too. They have like a, a kind of like a Brita filter uh, that you can use um, for, you know, more water than just like a bottle of water, but they, they do have stuff like that. Say, child, I'm going to put down below, you know, bottom line, distillation, reverse osmosis. These are the things that you um, want to rely on. Reverse osmosis still takes filters though. So it's kind of the same thing as the carbon filter that I was talking about earlier that, you know, you're going to want to change those filters out regularly because of how much, um, you know, the, the contamination, it'll just gets stuck to those filters and it'll just basically keep contaminating. It won't filter after a while. So distillation really is your number one um, resource in this particular scenario. Boiling absolutely will not get rid of radiological or a lot of chemicals. It gets rid of bacteria really good, you know, some viruses, some viruses, uh, but it doesn't do anything for radiological or, um, or chemicals. So boiling is just not effective. Um, you know, a lot of the filters, uh, you know, that you see in the market, especially like LifeStraw and stuff. Nope. You know, uh, just not effective. Any of those camping filters just are not going to work with, uh, radiological or chemicals. You really do want the reverse or the distillation and distillation is going to be your long-term bet of making sure that water is safe to drink after these kinds of things. Don't wait for somebody to tell you that your water is contaminated or maybe your water is safe. Take it into your own hands to make sure that your water is, is safe to use for cleaning, for drinking, for eating, all of those things, okay? You don't wanna you know, just rely on somebody else's word saying it's okay <laughs> because, you know, trust issues, but whatever, okay? I wanna make sure that I am in control and I am ensuring that our water, food, whatever is safe to consume after such a drastic event as a chemical spill or, you know, uh, nuclear fallout. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please do post them down below and be sure to check, it, check out those Seychelles filters. I have one. I really like them. Um, totally not, you know, <laughs> not getting paid for this or anything, but I do really like them. And uh, I, I want you to go look at that distillation kit that I put down below in the uh, description as well. We are getting one of those as well. Thank you all so much for watching Conquer Tomorrow by preparing today. See you all later. Bye.